All right, so if you watched the video lesson and you did the step in with me, then now you're ready for the journal work part. Okay, so it's the same thing we've been doing. We're doing a lot of decomposing numbers and adding the hundreds, tens, and ones place to figure out the value. So let's look over here at the step up. The directions say, read the number of hundreds, tens, and ones. Write the number to match. Show your thinking. So I want to tell you how I'm going to do this. There are different ways you could do it if you want, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at what they gave me. So they told me that this number has two hundreds, one ten, and thirteen ones. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at that like a number expander. If we were to plug those numbers into an expander, that wouldn't work because the 13 ones, that's not how we would write it in the expander. We would decompose that. So find the number in the description of the blocks that you can decompose. 200s, that's fine. We're not going to move that. So maybe I'm just going to draw them. like blocks, because that's how my brain works. So 200s, we're good there. 110, okay, I can draw 110. Nothing to decompose there. And then 13 ones. Okay, that two digit number is a number we can decompose. I'm just gonna look at it, and I'm gonna look at the number, whoops, by looking at tens and ones. There's a one in the tens place, and there's three ones in the ones place. So that means there's one ten in this number. So instead of making 13 ones, I'm going to make one ten, and then I'll make my three ones. Okay, now I'm ready to add these blocks together. Two hundreds, two tens, and three ones. Two hundred. 23 is the same as 200s, 110, and 13 ones. We can check by adding it together. 200s, 200, 110, okay, that brings us to 210. And then 210 plus 13 is in fact 223. So these blocks that I drew is the same value as the words that they told us, okay? It says to show your thinking. If you just show your thinking by showing the blocks like I did, that works for me. I'm going to go down here and do E with you too. So we have seven hundreds. Okay. Sixteen tens and two ones. I'm going to draw my hundreds first. So my seven hundreds. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Okay, seven hundreds. I can't decompose seven hundreds anymore, so we're all set with that. Sixteen tens. Can I decompose sixteen tens? What number is sixteen tens? Is it sixteen? No, that would be sixteen ones. Sixteen tens is the same as the number. 160. Can we decompose the number 160? If we break it up into hundreds, tens, and ones, how many hundreds? There's one 100. So let's put the hundreds block there instead of drawing 16 tens. That's a lot of tens. How many tens? Six tens. We can do that. Can we decompose six tens anymore? No. All right. Great. And then how many ones? Two ones. Now we can just add that number. We have eight hundreds. How many tens blocks? Six tens blocks. And how many ones? Two ones. So seven hundreds. 16 tens and two ones is the same as the number 862. 
I knew in a snap that I could decompose 16 tens because of this two-digit number being there. Okay? So if you wanted to show your thinking by just drawing the blocks, that would work for me. If you want to show your thinking like we did up here in the step in by drawing what they show you first or what they tell you and then rearranging them, that works for me too. Whichever way you want to show the work is fine by me. Okay? So I'm just going to go through A through F and I'm going to figure out which ones we could decompose. Okay? Maybe that will help you out when it's time. So 300s, 810s, and 18 ones. Can you decompose 300s anymore? No. 810s is the number 80, so we can't decompose that into hundreds. But 18 ones can be broken up into tens and ones. So that is the number you'd want to decompose in B. Let's look at C. 100, that's good. Two tens, that's good. We can't decompose that, but 16 ones, you definitely would want to decompose into tens and ones. Which one would you decompose on D? In a snap, I can see that we could would decompose 36 ones. That's so many ones, right? We don't want to draw 36 ones. We want to break that up into tens and ones. And there's three tens and six ones. Okay, now let's look at F, last one. Are we decomposing ones in this one? I don't think so, because there's only six, right? There's no tens. What about hundreds? We have 200, so we're not going to decompose anything there. But 14 tens is the same as the number 140. That has 100. So you can take your 14 tens and trade some tens in for some hundreds blocks. Okay, I'm not going to tell you how many, though. So if I were you... I would go through your math journal right now, maybe pause the video if you want to look at it longer, and circle which blocks you're going to be decomposing, okay? And then for the step of head, it, all you have to do is figure out and write the number that, this, that the blocks show. So you're looking at this picture, and you're going to figure out what the blocks show. I don't know if there's enough room right here for you to do that. If it were me, I would get a scrap piece of paper. I would write the number hundreds blocks, okay? So I wouldn't write two. I would write 200 because I have 100 here, and I'm going to check it off, 200 here. So then on a scrap piece of paper, I would write 200. Then I would count my tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100, 10, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160. Holy cow, 160 is the same. So we have 16 tens blocks right there, but it's the number 160. And then go through and count your ones and then add the numbers together. And that will give you your total. That's what I would do. You can do it whatever way you want to get there, but that's how I would do it. Good luck.